you doing? It's been a while since I dropped a question on a class session. I've been really, really busy, so I'm so sorry I've not been able to answer a lot of you guys' questions. So today I've got one with me. This one is under the topic collisions, but I'm not going to work on collisions as a whole. I'm going to focus on this particular one because the question is a special type of collision. But in summary, you know there's elastic collision and inelastic collision. The one that this question concerns is called glancing collision. Um, I think it's actually a type of elastic collision. So I'm not going to give it in definition terms. I'm not going to explain it with the diagram of how it actually works. The glancing collision is pretty much a type of elastic collision. We already know that now. And it works with, let's say there's one mass. I'm going to call that A, mass A. And then there's a second body. We're going to call that mass B. Now, mass B is stationary. That means it's at rest. It's not moving. But let's say our mass A is moving. Now, both of them are on the same horizontal plane mass a starts to move and then it hits mass b when it hits mass b it ends up flying off in a direction this is still the horizontal line and mass b also from a stationary position flies off in its own direction this is mass b's direction and this is mass A's direction and they both go at a direction of angle theta for A and let's call it angle beta for B so that's basically what a glancing collision is when a moving body hits a stagnant body and they both end up moving at different directions that are related to or incident at an angle in relation to the horizontal with that I'm going to go straight to the question the question goes in an elastic collision involving two masses MA equals 0 0.5 kg and MB equals 0 0.3 kg okay so the question goes in an elastic collision involving two masses, MA equals 0 0.5 kg and MB equals 0 0.3 kg on a frictionless table. Mass A has an initial velocity of 4 meters per second in the positive x direction and a final velocity of 2 meters per second in an unknown direction while mass B is initially at rest. Find the final speed of mass B and the direction of masses of masses after collision. Okay, we can also see that they gave us the answer for velocity of B only. They didn't give us direction. At least we know what we're looking for, but we're still going to find it to see if we know what we're doing. So let's start with it. All right, we've gotten the question so let's try put it down in a diagram it says it's an elastic collision and we have mass a let's say m a is moving and it hits the stationary mass b initially at rest mr a flies away m a and there's the horizontal um Mr. B also flies away and this is its own direction which is relative to the horizontal. Alright, we've gotten, at least we've, we can envision how the question is. Let's move on and put the parameters. We have that the mass of A is 0 0.5. The mass of B is 0 0.3 kg. UA is 4 meters per second. 
U B it was a rest V A it came two meters per second and V B is unknown that's actually what we're looking for and let's call the direction of the of mass A to be capital letter A we're also looking for that and the direction of mass B to be capital letter B so it says it's an elastic collision so we're going to use the elastic collision formula but we're going to relate it to both the horizontal and the vertical because when they fly off their movement as a, they're covering the horizontal distance by going upwards and when they're moving like this there's also a vertical distance that's being covered so they have both kinds of movements and direction so let's consider the vertical i like to start with my vertical size first when mass a and mass b when they were both moving they were they, they were both on the horizontal there wasn't any vertical movement they were plainly moving on the ground which means that the initial for both of them is going to be zero on the horizontal side but when they hit, they hit one another they collided and they flew there was horizontal and vertical movement so we're going to have M A V A sine capital A plus M B V B sine capital B for the vertical then considering the horizontal we have since it was moving on the horizontal first we have M A U A plus M B U B equals M A V A cos A plus M B V B cos B so let's bring them both and put the parameters in we have 0 equals M A V A is 0 0.5 times 2 sine A plus 0 0.3 times V B sine B and we have for the horizontal 0 0.5 times 4 plus 0 0.3 times 0 equals 0 0.5 times 2 plus 0 0.3 and VB cos theta cos which gives us 0 equals 0 0.5 times 2 is 1 so 1 times sine a we have sine a plus 0 0.3 times vb we have plus 0 0.3 vb sine b and for the horizontal 0 0.5 times 4 gives us 2 plus 0 equals cos a plus 0 0.3 vb cos b so we have two unknowns in this question which means it's pretty much going to be difficult or not even possible to find it directly with this find the velocity directly with this formula but let's look at the question again it says it's in an elastic collision now the thing about elastic collision is the sum of energy, the total energy or the total momentum that's of the both of both bodies before the collision is the same energy, the same momentum at sum of momentum after collision. Keeping that in mind, I think it's possible to say that the kinetic energy initial that's the total kinetic energy is equals to kinetic energy final with that in mind we can see 
half m a u a half m b v b u b square equals half m a v a square plus half m b v b square we can factorize the half out and just have m a u a square plus m b v u b square equals to bring out this half and we have m a v a square plus half m b v b square no so isn't it out sorry about that they are both in the same brackets don't mind me half cancels half so we have m a u a square plus m b u b square equals m a v a square plus m b v b square all right so m a u a square is 0 0.5 times we have u a is 4 that's 4 square plus 0 0.3 times 0 square equals 0 0.5 times 2 square plus 0 0.3 times v b square 0 0.5 times 4 square that's 0 0.5 times 16 plus 0 0.3 times 0 equals 0 0.5 times 4 plus 0 0.3 times vb square 0 0.5 times 16 that's 16 times 1 over 2 we have 8 plus 0 0.3 times 0 gives us 0 equals 0 0.5 times 4 that's 4 times 1 over 2 gives us 2 plus 0 0.3 vb square which leaves us with 8 equals 2 plus 0 0.3 vb square so let's collect like terms if we collect like terms we are going to be having 8 minus 2 equals 0 0.3 vb square 8 minus 2 is 6 Therefore, 6 is equal to 0 0.3 vb square. Divide both sides by the coefficient of vb square, which is 0 0.3. So we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.3. Let's take our calculator. We have 6 divided by 0 0.3, and it gives us 20. So we have that 20 equals v b square now they ask us to find v b not v b square so we're going to take square root of both sides the square automatically cancels the square root so let's take the square root of 20 and we have v b equals 4.47 four seven two meters per second all right so we have gotten it according to how the answer says in the in the textbook question four point four seven let's put it exactly like how they want it approximately vb is approximately four point four seven meters per second so i'm going to be solving in the next video to find the direction Please click and I hope you understand. Drop any questions you have in the comment section or you can any questions you also want me to solve or we can look at together any specific topics or specific regions. I hope you all have a great time. Thanks.